Over the past couple of weeks, I watched about six showcases, and the fanboy war is in full swing. I'm going to say some stuff that needs to be said, and I know I'm not the only one that thinks it, but some of you probably aren't going to be happy about hearing it. That statement is, the best showcase of this season was Xbox. Xbox just delivered a better showcase. Now, a lot of the PlayStation fanboys are really upset, and they're saying Xbox has all these names and titles, but, like, quantity over quality, Spider-Man's going to trump them all. But the counter to that is Starfield. Starfield Direct was an amazing presentation of that game that showed so much information and so many mechanics in one game. I get it. Spider-Man is going to be a big game. It is going to sell well, but they're not really pushing the bounds. And it's a already established IP with the skeleton design that they expanded the series on. But it doesn't do anything really new. Whereas Starfield is so different by combining so many aspects of so many different games that I just think it's a larger, better IP. Now... Don't get me wrong, but this was they've been known to mm, muck things up a little bit. So, like, there is still a little, like, worry and hesitation to it. But with as big as the Starfield Direct event was, they showed a lot of segments of gameplay and questing and so many things that it gives me a lot of hope that this may actually launch in a fairly decent state. And actually be a playable game with so much content that's going to be enjoyable. I'm looking forward to it. That being said, Sony's showcase wasn't bad. I think Xbox just delivered better timing, trailers, cinematic. Like, just the way that showcase was delivered was more engaging and more exciting than the other showcases I partook of over the past week and a half i mean sony the playstation one was first that was like two weeks ago ish so there's pluses and minuses and there's games i'm looking forward to in all the showcases just xbox was the best that being said i want to hit like one or two games out of every showcase the big three showcases I watched live and and say like this I'm looking forward to this is going to be a good game for the PlayStation one Spider-Man's going to be a good game it's going to sell well and people are going to love it however the trailer was boring to me the trailer did not get me engaged it did not get me excited it was very lengthy with not a lot of description of the mechanics and why I should be excited about the mechanics, the storyline or sh why I should be excited about the storyline. It showed gameplay, which is a massive plus, but the trailer was a bit long drawn out and I didn't get engaged or excited about it. Assassin's Creed Mirage. I'm um, super excited about. I was extremely surprised that it, they showed it during Sony's showcase, but it was there, and I love the Assassin's Creed franchise. I'm always going to be excited about it. And I think the biggest game for me out of the sh Sony showcase was going to be Hell Helldivers 2. That looked really good. I want more information on Helldivers because I think that is going to be a good series, and I'm glad that I saw that in the Sony sh showcase. Again... I just did not get engaged, hyped, or excited for a lot of the trailers within the Sony showcase. That doesn't mean that the games in there are bad. They just did a bad job of hooking me as a viewer of the showcase. I know that's very personal, like, preference type things, but that makes a huge difference when we're talking about the showcase as a whole. I'm not saying Sony has bad games. I'm saying they had a bad showcase. There's a big difference. And if you're going to be out there and you're going to like hack apart or try to attack my statements, like make sure you watched all the showcases and talk about the showcases, not the games. We're talking about the trailers. We're talking about the showcase, not the games. I think a lot of these games probably will have decent success and do fairly well, but they didn't do a good job hooking in the showcase. Now, another big one I watched, the Future of Games Showcase. 
it was all right. Really cheesy writing, and I'm sorry, but like the voice actor for Peter Parker did not do a great job, and I wasn't super stoked about that. It it kind of fell flat. A lot of the delivery of the jokes and the cheesy like lines in between segments. Star Trucker though, Star Trucker looked great. Didn't get to see gameplay really. Didn't get to see a whole lot, but it looks like a very interesting kind of funny idea. Big rigs in space. You just get this big old 18 wheeler and truck around the solar system. Um, some people kind of saying like Euro truck sim in space. You know what? I'm interested. I'm down. I want to know more. Lords of the Fallen, not a Sol- Soulsborne player typically myself, but like looked really good. It looked clean. And if you're into that style of game, I I think it's going to do very well and it's worth keeping your eye on. Pacific Drive is the one that caught my attention the most during the future games. You get a station wagon, you get to upgrade the station wagon, the station wagon becomes your mobile base and you drive around fighting stuff and gathering materials. It looks like a survival survival base builder, but it's built around the concept of just cruising around in a station wagon and trying to make it the best station wagon in the world. Clark Griswold's National Lampoon's post-apocalyptic vacation. That That is a game description that gets me very interested, Mischief. That's actually how I feel about it. That's very accurate, I think. I want more on this game because it looks good and super interesting concept. It, t- it takes a genre that survival base building and kind of adds a really unique kind of mix to it. And of course, the last showcase I want to talk about is the Xbox showcase. Again, just the pacing, everything they did, the hooks were better. The trailers were more engaging. I just think Xbox delivered the best product as far as the showcase went. The first one is Fable. I'm I've never played a Fable. I'm not interested in the Fable's world. But like I think this might be the game that gets me into the series or franchise. I I might get introduced to Fable just because this got me interested enough to check it out. South of Midnight, I want to see gameplay, but the trailer was amazing. I don't know anything about the concept though. I don't. Um Star Wars Outlaws feels like normal person Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So it looks like it's going to have a story. It's going to have a decent, expansive world. It's going to be something you explore in. But you're just a normal person in Star Wars. You're not a Jedi. You're not something crazy. You're a Han Solo or Bounty Hunter style person that's out there just trying to figure stuff out. And I'm down for it. I want to see that side of the universe and see how that kind of plays out. And like there's some DLCs and other expansions that they mentioned. But then you get to the meat and potatoes, the real reason, the end of the hook, the big reveal was the Starfield Direct event, and I can't emphasize this enough. Like, I did not realize they were putting this many mechanics into the game. There was this much customization. There was so much going on that that 40-minute event really kind of calmed a lot of my nervousness about the franchise and the game, especially with it being a new IP. No one knows anything about it. Like they showed off so many details and so much aspects of the game that it gives me a lot of like confidence going into it that Starfield's going to be a big, good game. So much content, so many ways to play. Just Starfield Direct was the exact correct way to announce and reveal that game. And I think going into the future, what I could say I would love to see out of like game showcases, trailers, events, stuff like that is something like Starfield direct for your big games. And even for your smaller games, I want to hear like 10 minutes from the actual devs 
where they say, this is the mechanic we're excited about. This is what we've added extra. This is something that we're excited about to kind of give the emphasis when you're talking about a trailer, they're usually short on gameplay. They're a really small hook and like, okay, I'm interested, but having the devs talk about certain key aspects would help dig in that hook and show you what the emphasis in the game is going to be, which would be very interesting to me. And I want to see going into the future, especially with the loss of like panels on E3 and longer like form for trailers and everything like that. I think there's a way to do this new system of showcases where they all do it all online, but still add that kind of like panel talk and show feel to some of these events. I don't know. Only time will tell if these games come out looking good. And again, the biggest part of this was not to say that these games are going to be big hits or big flops. That wasn't the point of any of this. The point was did the trailer hook you? Did the showcase provide entertainment? And did the showcase get you excited? Not whether the game's going to be good or bad, but did the showcase do its job? And when you ask yourself that specific question, the end answer is 100%. Xbox had the best showcase. Sorry, not sorry. You can subscribe. Do this stuff. You want all that? All of that. Hey there, it's Skeg Froggy. Thanks for watching the video. And if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and follow me here on Twitch for more awesome content. Link is in the description.